This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas that's now dry after putting a layer of maiden black paint on it and I want to do something fairly simple. I want to put enough maiden white paint so that I can slide some colors across it with some cell activator on it and a nice wide swath. And I was thinking I could get away with it without spatula, using a spatula, but I think I have to. Whatever I have that's extra, I'll just go back to the beginning. Put that down in there. Lead it down over the edge. I don't even know if I can do this. This is really putting this stripe on is a new new experiment for me. Unless I did it some other time and I forgot. So <laughs> you let me know if you if you know I did or not. I have over 2600 videos which by the way you can find by going to my my channel and playlists all playlists creative playlists. So I'm going to use some Mayan gold hope that I can get some cells out of this. A little shiny taffeta. Thinking about coming in from either end, but it might also work well to go out from the middle. I've got some mother of pearl. The shiny taffeta and the Mayan gold are both prison pores. There is a 20% off coupon code for color art products underneath the video. This is the mother of pearl. And it is also a prison pour. I want to make a nice wide swath. Oh look, a painting before a painting again. Um, what have else have I got? I've got uh, French silk and Chantilly lace. Those are all prison pours. And so is the Indian spice, which is coming out now. That's good. I may be tempted to put a bunch of French silk and Chantilly lace on the top. Oh, Misty Veil. Vale. Misty Veil vale was with the rogue was the wonderful rogue element. It has some color shifting iridescence to it. Almost rainbow like. There I go making it too uniform again. This is the Chantilly lace. doesn't work it'll be a stage one. It might be a stage one anyway. I may put a sky and a moon in if it works. So this is the French silk which is another iridescent beauty. I've got my another rogue element which is the ginger peach which is a coming out. <laughs> which is a primary element, pigment powder. I don't want too much. I may have already put too much in there. So I'm just going to make this pretty simple, I think. I'm going to use my smaller OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula from Good Grips, best paint spreading tool I know of. might be a really good one to tip. I'm going to wipe that off and think about using a different tool, although that looks so good. I'll just use the tip this time. Where have you heard that before? And wipe it off back over here. Good. I 
make it off. Check and see what else I might want to do to that. Put some more cell activator on. I really want to grab one of my little acetate tools. It's, the question is whether it's going to be wide or not. I'm going to use not the biggest one, but not the smallest one either. They're really good for covering the edges. I like that. I think I'm going to tip it down. I tend to want a little bit more of the ginger peach right there. It reminds me of monarch butterflies right now. I want to pick up that paint in my dish and use it. Just because I can. Now I could do this all again across the bottom and make another layer. And the sky could be navy. I think I need to leave this up a little bit, right there. Or I could just leave it right like it is and call it a painting, huh? I like that. I like that right like it is. It could be a stage one or it could be done. And I really do like that. I'm wondering if I need to... Take advantage of that being a puddle. And just utilize the paint that's there. I know I don't need to do anything else. It doesn't mean that I'm going to restrain myself, though. Got a little bit of missing there. Yeah, I kind of, kind of want to go down and do another layer, but I could also just be perfectly happy with this as a vertical. And it could keep stealing some paint. So I think that interesting thing can be modified. I would be very careful about modifying something I already love. But there we have it. And I'll just call it stage one or done, and if I do another stage to it, I'll add another layer around the bottom, and uh, maybe I'll just put a moon in the sky and call it good. You know what? I could do that right now. <laughs> How much time do I have left? I got six minutes. I got plenty of time. Could be Black River. That was the Prism Pour Chantilly Lace. This is the Misty Veil. This is Solar Flare. This is a new metallic antique metals. Prism Pour. Here's my French silk. There it is. For this, I'm going to have to use my tiny acetate tool. 
and I didn't use any of the white, so we will. This is a good experiment. We'll need to see how this goes. This is shiny taffeta. Hopefully enough of this will fall over the edge, or maybe I won't even worry about that. This is the Mayan gold. If I want some of that monarch butterfly wing, I've got to put the, the ginger peach in there. Okay, here goes nothing. Wipe that off first. I don't know why I'm just superstitious that way. Use my residuals across the bottom right now. I kind of think it. I like it even better without the original maiden white base layer certainly not bothering me. I wonder what color I'm going to use for my moon. Should it be shiny taffeta? Shiny taffeta is a good color. I like the pale buttercream yellow of French silk also. Well, whatever I don't cover on the bottom, I'm okay with that. I've got enough paint left in my scrape dish so if I want to, I can put a little over there. Yeah, I like the way that worked out. Let's put a moon in the sky. That's sweet. I like that. If I want to change the shape of this at all, I'll just blow into it. And if I want any trees, I've been thinking about trees. I'm wondering if the, if the pearl would work. Helps if it comes out. Yes, open it up. I kind of want to take Just pretend there's a few trees down there. Maybe somewhere else too. Maybe there are birches. Birches in the moonlight. Ghostly trees. It's a surreal scape. Just using the sharp end of the skewer. Kind of kitschy, but still cool. So I love you guys. I have over... Did I tell you? I think I did. I have over 25, 2,600 videos. Oh, that one's not a good tree. I got blobby. Actually, it's a better tree now. Just put a little tiny dot down and pull. I like my moon. Shiny Taffet is the perfect moon. If I want to add any branches, I could do that tomorrow. I'm going to make that a tree that's closer to the foreground. I could put some trees in the foreground, actually, if I wanted to. I still could use to torch. But there we have it. I'm, I'm in love <laughs> with that. Let me turn off my other light. 
and try and shimmer this at you. It's pretty simple, sim simple, but it's pretty sub sublime too. Can't talk. Let's see if I can turn off this light also. Cool. I like it. Sorry about the sh shimmer. The uh, reflection is actually from the window. Let's see if I can get down here. Oh. Hopefully you can see some of that shimmer. Don't forget the 20% off coupon code underneath the video for Color Art Products. I am a Color Art Affiliate, so by shopping there you're helping me out. And I could use a little help. Which reminds me there's more shopping to be had on my Amazon link. If you shop there it's at no it cost you. But you'll find my two books there because I can in unlimited possibility. I don't think I need more time. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you share my videos. I will be putting stars in the sky, but it would take too long to do it right now, so I'm not going to do that. I might even be tempted to put a few shimmering little clouds in since everything else is shimmering so nicely. I love you guys. Check my community board for tomorrow's video. And uh, my battery's about to die, so if I'm gone in a second, you'll understand what happened. On uh, my link tree underneath, show more underneath the video, you'll find... Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students. Please use my community board to see tomorrow's video and ask me questions. I'll ha be happy to answer them if I have answers. Thank you so much for the donations through PayPal that keep me painting. Thank you for your kind words and your comments and your compliments that keep me happy and well adjusted. I do sell my artwork. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. My paint pouring recipes are underneath the video. I'm um, not sure what I forgot other than the link tree has um, Society6 and the Galler's clothing. Beautiful stuff and uh, well worth checking out. Sorry, this is standing there blabbing. I got that one lump right in the middle, but I think it's still okay because I love, love, love the cells I got. I love you guys too. You inspire the heck out of me. I post every day at 3.15, seven days a week, Eastern Standard Time. If you need to reach me, via email, please use me my email at EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I love you much. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Whatever I forgot, you'll see in another video. Um, see ya. I love you guys. See you. Bye. Wow.